All right, everybody. Our next concept today is going to be talking about systems of, systems of equations. This unit we're going to be doing now is three different concepts that really don't relate, but they're just things that have to be covered. So I'm going to put them all into one before we move on. All right, so solving systems of equations. What I'm going to ask you to do is to solve them two different methods. You're going to have to be able to use substitution, and you're going to have to be able to use elimination. All right, so I'm going to teach you the two methods. And on your homework, it tells you how to do it. All right, so follow the directions. I expect to see work. I don't think any of us are doing these in our head without showing work, so I expect to see it. All right, so what the idea is, when I have a system of equations, I'm going to be given two equations. And what I'm looking for, let's do it this way. I'm going to grab both. I'm just pretend. This isn't right. Just pretend. My first equation looks like this. My second equation looks like this. All right, those are my two equations, my two pieces of the system. What we are trying to find is the x and y coordinate where they intersect each other. So don't give me answers that are x equals and y equals. Give me answers as an ordered pair x comma y. All right, so that's what we're doing. That's our end goal for this. And we're trying to find the ordered pair where these two intersect. All right, so first method is going to be substitution. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the equations and we're going to substitute it into the other. This one's already set up for us because I know what x equals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what x equals and I'm going to plug it into the other x. As we go through, if I'm going too fast, pause it. Do some work and then look what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to plug into x. So what I'm going to write is 2 times whatever my x value is, negative y minus 12, minus 3y equals 6. So I plug this into my x, and now all I'm going to do is solve. So I get 2y minus 24, minus 3y equals 6, negative 5y minus 24 equals 6, and I keep solving. Negative 5y equals 30, y equals a negative 6. All right, so I'm skipping the steps and not sure what we're doing, but I hope we can solve. So my ordered pair is going to be something negative 6, because that's my y value. Now I'm going to substitute again. I'm going to go into either one of these. I'm going to plug negative 6 into, 6 into this y or this y and solve. doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm going to pick the bottom one because it's easier. x equals a negative, put in my y value, negative 6 plus 12, or minus 12. Do my math, a negative, negative is a positive. These two lines intersect at the point negative 6, negative 6. All right. So we're going to take one of our equations, that we're going to solve for x or y if we need to, substitute it into the other, do the math, and find your x and y values. That's the idea for substitution. So let's look at number 2. Again, I'm teaching fast because it's just me, so if you need to, slow it me down by pausing and write down some notes. All right, 3x minus y equals 0. 4x plus 3y equals 26. The last equation, the last system, had, y or, or had x solved for, so I'm going to have to solve for a variable. I am always going to try to pick the variable that does not have a coefficient. I don't want to solve for 3x, so I'm going to get fractions. Same thing with 4 and 3y. So I'm going to solve for this y. So I'm going to take 3x minus y equals 0. And to solve for y, I'm just going to add the y to the other side. So I solved for this y because it was the easiest one to get by itself. Now I'm going to take what that y equals, which is 3x, and substitute it into the other y. Substitute into 3x. And I got half of my answer that x equals 2. To find the rest of it, I'm going to take that x that equals 2, substitute it either here, here, or here. And I'm going to pick the one I made because it's the easiest.
and I get the ordered pair 2 comma 6. All right, so you solve for one variable like I did. Substitute what it equals into the other equation. Do your math to solve for one variable. Plug that into one of the equations and get the second. All right, 3x plus y equals a negative 9. Negative 3x minus 2y equals 12. So I'm going to solve for this y. I get negative 3x minus 9. So I'm going to take that and substitute it into the other equation. And do the math. Get my math correctly, I got x to be negative 2. Now I'm going to take that, substitute it into my other equation, or my equation that I made. And these two lines, if they were graphed, would intersect each other at the point negative 2, negative 3. That's substitution. Solve for a variable and solve for the easiest one you can. You can solve for any of them. They'll all work. Some are just going to be uglier than others, so I'm going to pick the one that's the easiest to get alone. And that's when we use substitution, when we can find one that's easy to grab, solve for. All right, elimination. To solve using elimination, we need to make one of our variables eliminated, get rid of it. All right, so if I look at this problem and I add 4x plus x is 5x, negative 2y plus 2y, oh, they're eliminated, that's what I need, 7 plus 3 is 10. So when I add my two equations together, my y's disappear, which means they're eliminated. Half of my answer there's going to be 2 comma something. All right, now, I'm going to take that 2, and I'm going to substitute it into one of these two equations. Doesn't matter which one you plug it into, they will both work, which I'll show you. But if it was my pick, I would do the bottom one. So I would go 2 plus 2y equals 3. 2y equals a 1. I get y to equal a half. All right now, if I tried the other one, 4 times 2 minus 2y equals 7. 8 minus 2y equals 7. Negative 2y equals a negative 1. y still equals 1 half. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. So the way this one is set up, when I add it down, 4x plus x is 5x. Negative 2y plus 2y canceled, which was our good thing. 7 plus 3 is 10, and I get my x equal 2. All right, so this one was set up very nicely because they canceled out. All right, number 2 in this part, 4x plus 2y equals 1, 4x plus 6y equals a negative 2. If I add down, nothing cancels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force one of these to cancel. And how I'm going to do it, is I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by a negative 1. As long as I do it to both sides, I do it to everything, it's acceptable. So I'm going to rewrite the top one, distribute the bottom, and I force that bottom one because I want to cancel out my axes because they're pretty darn close to being the same. So if I multiply everything on the bottom row by a negative 1, now solve cancels I got half of my problem where y equals 1. Let me erase this. 
So we erase that. Now to find my x value, I have three choices. I have my original one, my other original, or I have the one that I made. You can go back into any of those. All of them will work. And if it were me, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to pick the top one. 4x plus 9 times 1 equals 1. 4x plus 9 equals 1. 4x equals a negative 8. These two lines intersect at the point negative 2 comma 1. So if they don't cancel out when you add down, we're going to force them to. So to force these, I took both sides of my equation and multiplied it by a negative 1 to make a 4x and a negative 4x. We forced it to happen. As long as you do it to both sides of the equation, we're good. All right, number three. Three x plus seven y equals 15. Five x plus two y equals a negative four. All right, looking at this, looking at these two or these two, they won't cancel each other out. If I change the signs of one of them, they still won't cancel. So what I have to do is I have to pick, do I want to get rid of the top equation of the, or do I want to get rid of the x's or the y's? All right, I'm going to pick the x's because I think these numbers might be a little bit easier to work with. So, if I have a 3x and a 5x, I need to make them both a 15, or 1 a 15 and 1 a negative 15. So I'm going to multiply the entire top by 5 to make this a 15, and I'm going to multiply the entire bottom by a negative 3, which makes it a negative 15, which makes them cancel out. So multiplying the top by 5 gives me a 15x and some other stuff. The bottom gives me a negative 15x and the other stuff. And those are going to cancel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go 15x plus 35y equals 65. Oh, 75, not 65. The bottom is going to be a negative 15x minus 6y equals a 12. All right, this is where good things happen. These cancel, give me a 29y equals an 87. I divide in my head on a side of paper or with a calculator because it's a little bit bigger. I get y to equal 3. We have options, I said. We can go into the two originals or the one I made. To find my other value, I'm going to go into this bottom one because my numbers are smaller. 5x plus 2 times 3 equals a negative 4. And these two intersect at the point negative 2, 3. As we go through this, if it's not making sense, send me a message. Google it. YouTube. Khan Academy. Call a friend. All right. Do something. All right. Now we're going to solve quadratic systems. We're going to add some squares into this. So we had linear equations before where, where lines intersected. We're going to have different situations. You don't know what these look like, but we're going to have different situations. I could have a parabola and a line. It has two answers. I can have a circle and a parabola that gives me two answers. I could have a circle, what we call a hyperbola, that looks like this, where I get four answers. So we're going to end up with multiple answers here. We just got to be able to do the math and make it work. All right, so let me get rid of this. We're going to get more than one answer can we solve in quadratic systems. When you solve a quadratic, you can do substitution or elimination, whatever one you feel is better. When I see this problem, I'm going to use substitution because I can make probably these two cancel out pretty easily. All right, so I'm going to get, make one of these a negative x squared and one leaves as a positive x squared. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to change the top. All right, because... 
I want to try to make these two numbers positive to make it a little bit easier. If you change the bottom, we'll still get there. So now I have a negative x squared plus y squared equals a negative 9. x squared plus 9y squared equals 169. And I have forced my x squares to disappear. All right, so I changed the top to make my x squares disappear. So I get a 10y squared equals 160. So I get y squared equals 16. And this is where our multiple answers are going to come in. So y squared equals 16. We've got to remember, this is a big, big, big concept. When I square root to cancel a square, I have to plus or minus square root. So I'm going to get two answers, plus or minus 4. So if y squared equals 16, I square root the y squared. I plus and minus, square root the 16 and get plus or minus 4. So now, I have two answers so far. So my y is a 4 and y is a negative 4. I'm going to go into here because my numbers are smaller. So I'm going to do it twice. X squared minus a negative or positive 4 squared equals 9. X squared minus 16 equals 9. Again, I get two answers. Not two, very sad. Because when I solve this, I'm going to square root, and I'm going to plus or minus square root. So I got two answers here. When my y value is 4, my x value is either positive or negative 4. So what I have is 5, 4, and negative 5, 4 because it's plus or minus. So I ended up with two answers because my x is 4. Now I'm going to do that math again. I'll do it down over here x squared minus a negative 4 squared equals 9. x squared minus, I square this first, 16 equals 9. Wait a minute. x squared equals 25, and x also equals plus or minus 5. So I'm just plugging them in and doing the math. And now I have 5, four, no, five negative 4 and negative 5, negative 4. So these are my answers, or these are my answers, they're the same thing, but if I wanted to, because those are plus or minus, this is probably our best answer, is going to be plus or minus 5, plus or minus 4, which is all four of these kind of put together in one statement. So we know how to eliminate, I hope, from the first three problems, the biggest step. Is make sure if you cancel out a square by square rooting, you give me two answers. So the same idea as elimination, we just ended up with one, two, three, four, four, four answers, a plus five, minus five, comma, plus four, negative one. All right, for this one, y equals x squared minus x minus six. y equals x squared minus x minus six, and y equals two x minus two. I'm going to use substitution. I don't want to eliminate this one. I'm going to use substitution. So what I'm going to say for this one is I know that y equals x squared minus x minus 6. So in my second equation, I'm going to plug that statement into y. Because they equal each other. If y, they both equal y, they equal each other. So I'm going to set them equal to each other. To solve, I'm going to move everything to one side. In factor, quadratic formula, complete the square, it doesn't matter. When I factor this, it's going to be a plus minus. Multiply is going to give me 4, subtract is going to give me 3. And I need 1 minus 4 to give me my negative 3. This should be second nature. We should get this. So from here, I get the answer is negative 4, or positive 4, and negative 1. So they both equal y, so I substitute x squared minus x minus 6 into the second y. 
Since it's a square, I'm going to move everything to the left. I'm going to factor. I'm going to solve. And those are two of my pieces, my x values. So I'm going to go y equals 2 times 4 minus 2, and y equals 2 times a negative 2 minus 2. I'm going to plug both of those into here. And that's 8 minus 2, which is 6. Negative 4 minus 2 is a negative 6. So these two intersect at 4, 6, and negative 1, negative. Again, for all of these, we're finding out where the two graphs intersect each other by elimination or substitution. All right, last one. y equals x plus 1, and x squared plus y squared equals so 41. y equals x plus 1, and x squared plus y squared equals 41. For this one, my first thought, since it's a y equals, and these are squared, I'm going to substitute. So I'm going to plug x plus 1 into the second statement. Right. So I plug my first equation into the second. This is going to be our mistake if we make a mistake on this one. When I square x plus 1, that means I multiply it times itself. I FOIL x plus 1 times x plus 1. So this is the FOIL of x plus 1 squared. I add like terms. Solve for 0. And now what I would do here is I'm going to factor. But before I factor the way you're thinking, I'm going to take a 2. Out of all of those. Make it easier. They all factor a 2 out. I'm going to factor, so I need to multiply to give me 20 which is a plus, minus, and subtract to give me 1. So I'm going to use 4 and 5, a negative 4 and a positive 5. x minus 4, x plus 5. So this factoring we got to be able to do, like I said, if I'm going too fast, rewind, fast forward, pause, do whatever you need to. So I get x equal to 4, and x equal to negative 5, so I set these two equal to 0. Since this 2 doesn't have a variable, I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to go y equals 4 plus 1, y equals a negative 5 plus 1, and I'm going to get a 5, negative 4 is the final answer. All right, did the lesson really quick, a lot quicker when no one's asking questions. But rewind, fast forward, pause, do what we have to do. If you need help, send me a message, ask me a question, and I'll answer whatever I can. All right. This assignment is due. I don't even want to say that because i got multiple people watching this. Okay, if you're my Tuesday, Thursday, well, Tuesday, Thursday class, this is going to be due on Tuesday. And if you're my Monday, Wednesday class, it's going to be due on Wednesday of next week. All right, if I use this again the following year, ignore that part. All right, if you have any questions, let me know, and have a great one.